So we are back with part two to this video um, with Miss Extraordinary Sheena here. So cheers to you, darling, mm -hmm. and your wonderful transformation. And I wanted you to tell your story okay. to everyone because we could do videos all day about marching down the block, throwing some makeup on, and feeling extraordinary. But there's a story behind it. Mm -hmm. And um, I think that it's very inspiring and that there are a lot of uh, other women that have dealt with and are dealing with the things that you have. So, share your story, if you will, ma'am. Okay. I'm going to drink my remote. <laughs> okay, well, I had um, my first child at the age of 13. I suffered from self low self-esteem. Um, I didn't have any clarity about what I wanted to do. I knew that I was great, but I did not know how to express that. Um, I ended up getting married. Um, at, a, at a, a very young age, and I had my son. Um, I, right now, I am separated from my husband, um, and that's because I needed some time to grow. It felt like we were in two different places. Um, I had big dreams, and it seems like he didn't. So um, now I am a, I am in a better place, a much better place. Mm -hmm. I am clear on the direction that I want to go. Um, I am stronger, and again, I'm creating my new story. Yes, that's what I'm, I am creating <laughs> my new story. I, I have stepped in. It's, it's, I'm in a new reality. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in a better place. I'm more confident. Mm -hmm. I have that self-esteem, and I am not defined by the old story. Mm -hmm. I am not a teen mom. I am not a single parent. That's not who I choose to be. You're not a statistic. I'm not a statistic. Yes. Yeah, I'm not. Right. I'm not. And so if there's anyone out there who who understands the story or maybe going through the same thing, no matter what it is, you're not a statistic. You're not your old story. You can start creating right now at this very moment. There's nothing stopping you. Mm -hmm. And once you make that choice, things open up. Things change. Things just start coming, coming to you. Coming to you. They start coming to you. Yeah. To put you in that direction. Mm -hmm. So, and, and let's let's be clear with what okay. change your story means. Okay. Because I, I I like to teach. I don't want people to just be inspired. You know, be like, okay. yeah, go girl. But yeah. what does this really mean? And changing your story basically means for I'm gonna use you as an example since okay. it's about you. Um, you know, you had your, your first child at 13, you were, you know, a young, single mom, and you got married young, and then you had a, a I, I'll call it a failed marriage, just mm -hmm. for conversation's sake. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you haven't been happy, you haven't been fulfilled, mm -hmm. you put all excess weight on yeah. your body, um, you looked yourself in the mirror and you hated yourself. Yeah. So that's the story that you, you kept repeating in your mind, you've been okay. being broke, mm -hmm. and never and having being, enough money, right. and living in a little apartment. And that's the story that you keep that that you kept saying in mm -hmm. your mind. So every day you would wake oh, up, and it's the same story. Yep, expecting people to look at you as mm -hmm. a single mom, mm -hmm. look at you as you know a young girl who had a, a baby. You know, mm -hmm. now you got a baby daddy. Mm -hmm. and, you know, so that's the story that a lot of young women are living. But the reality is, is you have a choice. Uh, you know, as, as far as what story you tell yourself, you can say. I had uh, my child at a very young age, and I am raising this next generation. You know, I am raising an extraordinary young woman, and I am blessed to be young enough to experience it with her. Yeah. You know what I mean? Instead of Change. saying, oh, I had a baby at 13, and now, you know, it's just so Holding old. your head down. Right. And shame. Right. No. And then believing that. And believing it. Nobody's going to love you mm -hmm. because you have two children mm -hmm. and because you were a young mom. And there are a lot of women who, who believe that, that nobody's going to love me because I had a baby young or out of wedlock or now I got baby daddy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, nobody's going to love me because I'm overweight. Nobody's going to love me because my hair is not a certain way. Nobody's going to love me because I don't have a certain amount of money. That's just a story and it's a lie. It's a lie that society has told you. Mm -hmm. It's a lie that other people around you have told you because society told them, now they're telling you, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. you, you, you know how they say, the, they say they, they. Yeah. who is they? Who are they? Who is they? It doesn't matter what they say, it right. matters what you say. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. So I, I 
challenge all of you. I'm going to give you guys an assignment that I gave her is to sit down, number one first, and write out what you believe about yourself right now. Write your story out right now. Somebody had to do a movie about your life or play about your life right now and how it's been in the past. What would the play be about? Right? Like, who would the characters be? What would the plot be? And a lot of people will be a lot of pain, a lot of struggle, a lot of, you know. But then take that story and then write a new story. Write a new play, a new script. Right, of how you would want your life to be. And when you get finished, the choice is yours of which script you want to act out. That's all that it is. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Where is your, um, your story that you wrote? Downstairs. It's downstairs. I Let's go right okay. here. Okay. All right. So Ms. Sheena is going to share her, her new script okay. with you guys. It's more like the, a letter to myself. Um, and it goes like this. Dear Sheena, I'm writing you this letter to let you know that you are wonderful, beautiful, and strong. You deserve the best. You deserve to live in that brand new three-bedroom home with a beautiful decor. You deserve that banging body with a small waist, big hips, and butt. Mm. <laughs> you deserve to live worry-free, to live a worry-free life with no limitations. You should be able to walk into any store and buy whatever the hell you want. <clears throat> to drive that brand new white BMW, travel to different parts of the world, and take your kids with you. You deserve to have an amazing man in your life who loves you and understands you and treats you like the queen that you are. A divine man. <laughs> <laughs> you deserve amazing friends who uplift you and who are doing amazing things with their life. You deserve to be happy, confident, and fearless when it comes to living your dreams. You should be able to find a career where you are the boss and you are able to help others transform their lives in different ways. You are the best, you are powerful, and you are nothing like the rest. So believe it, own it, so that you can be set free. And that was the letter to myself. And I've, I've come into the habit, because this is my new script, and so I have to learn this script. And it takes time and repetition, and I read this every morning. This is a part of my ritual. Mm -hmm. And soon, I'm going to look up, and I'm going to have it all. Yes. I'm going to be in that story. In that story. And it's just like a script. You know, let's say you're an actor. When you get a script, you got to read it first, read it again, read it again, then you got rehearsal, and now you're on stage reading the script while you're rehearsing, and now you memorize it, so now you're acting out and, and engaging with the characters, and now you fully into character, and then you look up, and it's showtime. <laughs> So I encourage all of you to do that. And I'm going to add this on the end, too, because okay. oftentimes we get into this empowerment zone and we learn how to create a new story and we're learning about all this positive thinking and elevating your spirit and all of this inner stuff. But the outside of you has to match that as well. And you see this? Okay? And I, I don't know if enough women really, and men too, really understand this, that the way that you look, the way that you look is a direct reflection of what's going on inside of you, and that is what is actually going to attract things back to you. So if you leave it out of the house looking a hot raggedy mess, you're going to get hot raggedy mess of situations yeah. attracted back to you. And when you're not in the situation that you want to be in, you don't feel good. So you don't feel like putting your makeup on. You don't feel like, right. you know, putting on your specs and, right. and your good bra and putting on your smell yeah. goods and walking real sexy. You don't feel like doing that. But you have to do that first. And then that will change the feeling. And then when you mm -hmm. change the feeling, you change your thoughts. And when you mm -hmm. change your thoughts, you change your words. Mm -hmm. You change your words. You change your story. You change your story. You right. change your life. You change your life. You change your life. You change your life. So get up and go get your hair done. If you can't yes. go to the salon, do something at home. You know, mm -hmm. make your hair look mm -hmm. good. Get you a skincare regimen where you're cleansing, toning, toning, and moisturizing, exfoliating, masking. Look at this flawless face. Right? Get you some makeup. Go to the Matt counter. Go to Sephora. 
on. Get you some makeup. Learn how to put it on if you don't know how to put it on. There are hundreds of YouTube tutorials on how to put your makeup on. Yeah. Go get you a good bra. Oh yeah. my goodness. There are so many women whose boobs are hanging down in their navel. Yeah. <laughs> because they're not wearing the, the proper right bra. bra and the proper undergarments. And there's some really sexy... Um, body contouring garments that you can wear to contour and curve out your waist until mm -hmm. you get that flat, beautiful stomach that you want. You know, keep your skin nice and exfoliated. Mm -hmm. When people touch you, your skin is soft. You're smelling good. Keep your nails done, your feet done. Exfoliate mm -hmm. those feet. You know, and, and it's a lifestyle. It is. It's a lifestyle, and it's a way of living. It's a way of looking, and it's a way of loving. Mm -hmm. Because when you feel good, you love people differently. You see people through a different... Uh, through different glasses, mm -hmm. through different perspectives, you know, when you really feel good about yourself. Yeah. So. And it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. And it has just one little, one little tweak in the. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So proud of you, Governor. We're gonna drink our mimosas. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for watching the second part of this. Hopefully, this is And go out there day. and do it. Yes. Live your dream. Go do it. She did this. In what? Well, this is the fourth day. So technically, three days. Three days of non stop focus, of non stop belief, mm -hmm. and busting through saying, F that. Yes. I'm going to fight this, and I'm going to do this now. So, in three days. Granted, she came here and she spent three days here with me, but find somebody that you can connect with. Find a mentor. Find a program. Go get some books. Watch all my YouTube videos if you have yes. to. <laughs> or find a way to get your butt here in New York City and come spend some time with me and change your life. You won't regret it. I promise you won't regret it. <laughs> I love it. Bye, guys. Bye.